Gamers and game that's what is going on. My name is Tanek127 and welcome back to another video. Now, I don't make a lot of videos on shooters as you guys know. I usually make one probably, since I've been doing MMOs, probably two or three times a year at the most and they always revolve around Call of Duty. If, if you guys know me, especially if you know me personally, if you know me by now, you know I suck to COD Cock faithfully every single year. Doesn't change. I love my Call of Duty games flat out and I like talking about them on YouTube. Uh, I did actually have a second channel called Big Tactical where I strictly just covered um, Call of Duty type stuff and everything, but then I quit it after probably a few weeks because, I don't know, managing two channels is just a big headache. But if you guys would really, if y'all would like to see me do a separate channel for like shooters and Call of Duty stuff, let me know in the comments below and I'll start working on that channel again if that really is something y'all want to see because um, my, uh, my buddy Artful Vengeance, he actually... Thought me bringing that channel back and putting my shooter stuff there would be a good idea. So, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about it. But managing two YouTube channels, in my opinion, is just a headache. So, I figure I'll just post my sometimes Call of Duty thoughts on here. But, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. And, um, as you all know, Black Ops 4 was revealed. Man. And, honestly... I'm hype, but then again, I'm hype every year for, for Call of Duty. So you guys you guys know me, that hasn't changed. I wasn't too crazy about World War II. I actually, I was one of those insane individuals that really enjoyed Infinite Warfare. So, you, you, you know, don't, don't, be too, don't be too crazy, crazy on my opinion. My word when it comes to Call of Duty is not God, like I said in the beginning of this video. I'm a fanboy, have no problem admitting I'm a fanboy. You can send the... Cod cocksucker police YouTubers after me. I, I really don't care. <laughs> but um Yeah, I, I love my Call of Duty, man. It's it's my it's my shooter. I play it every year every year faithfully and I ain't gonna stop playing it every year faithfully. But um so like I said, Black Ops 4 was was revealed and I, I was pretty I was pretty hype about it. Honestly, I liked I liked pretty much everything that I saw. I like that they're really going for like an more of an arena shooter kind of vibe i like the you know the increased health giving you more chance for tactical team play i like that it's boots on the ground you know because i always said black ops 3 would be the perfect game if it didn't have the advanced movement what just so happens black ops 4 is kind of a copy and paste of black ops 3 just without the advanced movement so therefore why would i not be a happy individual but um the thing is this game has just been getting back to back hate just off of you know the trailer and what's and what's seen and the thing is like I don't understand it and the honest thing I want to know is like when did the the shooter community lose their sack like the thing the thing I don't understand is right the Call of Duty community every single year they always say the same thing we want something new we want something refreshing we want something different but we want stuff that's like the old games too they beg for something brand new every single year, but at the same time, they're afraid of it because every time change comes about with Call of Duty, it's just dislikes, it's cussing out Activision and stuff like that. Now, I know Activision has done some crazy BS. I know they're not the most trustworthy company on the planet. I get that. Trust me. You know, I I know supply drop BS is, you know, is around Call of Duty. I, I, I know all that fun jazz. I know. But... It seems like Call of Duty just can never win in people's eyes. And, and that that bugs me. And I kind of want to, you know, talk about that and my opinions at the same time. Because everyone loved Black Ops 3. Like, when Black Ops 3 first came out, I enjoyed it. I didn't like it towards the middle of its life cycle. And then I started to enjoy it again towards the end of its life cycle. I kind of did the same thing with Black Ops 2 as well. Because I, I don't care what nobody says. Black Ops 2 was freaking what was just horrible with net code in its midlife cycle black ops 2 is an amazing game now but if you played that game in its prime year you know that that time period between like i'm gonna say april and like july or august is where black ops 2 was just bad or at least you know to, to my opinion maybe maybe i had a real crap connection or you know just me and all my friends happened to have really crap connections but I, I i don't know black ops 2 was just really rough to play around that time in his prime year but um 
but the the thing the thing is guys it's just it's like I was saying this game can just never ever get a chance no with no matter what they do they added um, a, a new stem pack medical pack type of re regeneration thing in here and guys take the gameplay I'm using here in blacklight for example man I'm used to old school shooters you know I'm a I'm an, I'm an 80s baby man I will play I will play anything. I will try and adapt to anything. You know, I'm not going to be that 6.0 KDR in the lobby anytime, but I'm going to play it. Guys, I'm using an SMG with the scope of a sniper rifle in this match, and I'm just smoking these fools. You know why? Because they're going to refuse to adapt. You know what they're going to do? They're not going to try and kill me. They're going to sit here, whine, and bitch, and go to Twitter and say, Oh my god, his gun's so overpowered. Nerf him, please. Nerf him. Instead of just trying, you know, to combat me, when they can build a gun just like I built in this game. That's why I love Blacklight. There's so many options, so much you can do, and they don't cater to pussy players in this game. Like, it's not the greatest shooter of all time, but I love, you know, being able to um, spawn trap and stuff like that. Like, guys, but back when, you know, back in earlier day shooters, like the early 2000s and stuff like that, the days of PS2, PS1, and, you know, early PC... There was no, you know, just respawn fixes and all this nerfed aim assist crap, you know, to save you mid-match. If you were getting spawn trapped in a domination game, you had to man up and fight out of that spawn trap. Now, the game just resets it for you. Everything's just so pussified. And, and I, I, I hate to say that, but the shooter community is just it, it, it is soft. And I don't know where the hell this bitchy mentality came from it's it, it, it's really annoying and the thing is the only reason i'm just really you know just annoyed with this this time is because black ops 4 is kind of what everyone asked for it's literally a blend of black ops 3 and black ops 2 which everyone says are treyarch's best two shooters now it's slightly on the futuristic end however there is no advanced movement besides I think one of the characters has a grappling hook or something like that. And they can get on on top of certain structures and vehicles and, you know, just sit up there and and shoot like any normal guy that climbs a ladder and gets up there. W woo, you see him up high, shoot him down. <laughs> Big deal. But um, I don't know. I just I really want to know just what happened to the shooter community. Why does... What what does everyone want in an, in an FPS? Like I just I really don't I don't understand it anymore. Like with Call of Duty, the past three future shooters, I get it. You know, people didn't like the the super movement and stuff that, like that. Like trust me, I wasn't a big fan of it either. The only reason I actually really liked it, Infinite Warfare, as much as I did, is because, to my opinion, it was the most toned down of the three CODs with the with the movement system. But now that we have, you know, a great version of black ops 3 with no advanced movement the future weaponry the sniping staying the same and stuff like that and we get a little bit of extra health and some new mechanics and game modes that just give us opportunity for more gameplay fundamentals and people are upset i uh, uh, i don't i don't i don't know i just i i can't i can't comprehend the and I'll say it again, the pussery that goes through shooter players' minds. I swear that, you know, these comments I see on YouTube, they have to be kids that are 10 and under. But then again, I look on Twitter and I see that this is grown-ass men and women making these claims. And I, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't understand it at all. But anyway, guys, if you're excited for Black Ops 4, let me know in the comments below. I'm definitely excited about Black Ops 4. Um, let me know your thoughts on the shooter community, what you guys look for in a Call of Duty, or just FPS in general. Let me know how y'all feel. But y'all enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy, Tanek127. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out, take care.